So let's look at a general sequence for the back. Okay, so we're going to be incorporating the whole of the back. We're going to incorporate the shoulder girdle as well, a little bit of the neck, the thoracic spine, and also the lumbar spine. So once again, as I said before in the intro video, you need to gauge how much tonicity. Now, what you might find is the tension in the lower back may be very different to here in the upper part. So it's really important that you test this. And you will, in certain sequences, have to come back with the actual gun and just reapply a little bit more suction as you work through these. Okay, so really basic sequence. Let's start down here. We're basically right above the iliac crest here. So if we go below here, we're working in the glutes. The moment we're going to just address the erector spines, which is this big group of muscles along through here. Okay, so we're just going to apply just a longitudinal sweep up the erector spinae. Okay, we come through the interscap area, over onto the traps, and then back down. Now as you're pulling along with the cup, you need to make sure that you've got your pressure and holding the cup itself either side so it's not lifting off, okay? You also need to be aware that sometimes if it starts to feel like it's a hard drag, so an area where it starts to get tight, then obviously you'll need to probably engage and hold the skin as you drag and sweep over the skin, okay? So back again here. And this is about the speed that you wanna be traveling at. Anything faster than this, then sometimes it can be a little bit pinchy. Okay, so we come back down all the way along the erector spiny. Okay, I can start to feel that freeing up already. Okay, now I'm going to come out over the iliac crest. Back down again. So start to feel that there's a little bit of pressure starting to loose. So a little bit more of a squeeze. Increase the pressure there. And now I'm working across. Okay, so before we're working horizontal, now we're working vertically. Okay, so now we're coming up to that last rib area. Okay, just pick up, drag back towards you, back down over the intercostals. Now I like to work one side at a time. There are some therapists that like to work bilaterally, but I tend to focus on just the one side. Okay, so we're looking at engaging that superficial fascia, that connective tissue, and just mobilizing using these cups. So I'm coming over the back of the rotator cuff now. Okay, the spine of the scap, back into the interscap area, back over again, and then along the trapezius, and then back down again. So just follow the route that you went down, backwards and forwards over and you'll start to see there's a little bit of reddening coming on there with Tim and that's fine not a problem whatsoever Okay, we work back down along there. Same route that we came beforehand. Start to see it really freeing up now. Okay, so we're picking up all that superficial fascia as we work along there. And then we can come back up. And then we can work across the traps themselves. Now one of the most important things that we need to be aware of is too, is the size of our cup. So this is the perfect size cup for this region. Obviously we've got different size cups for different sizes of the body and regions. Okay. All right, so let's just go over it again. So we're gonna work longitudinal, backwards and forwards over that erector spiny. Then we're gonna come back down across the top of that iliac crest, and then we're gonna work across the body, up through this way, 
across the shoulder girdle, over the traps, and then back down again. And then follow the sequence back up here, back over the traps, and back down again. And it's at that stage you can come across and work the other side. What?